Yes. Just Lennon in LA. Picking up the car. Thank you so much, Nissan, for providing this vehicle for us. We needed something a little bit easier on the fuel. And this Altima promises to do that. Hey. Yo, look who's here. Oh, my Uber rock. Hey. Your Uber. Like look at you. You got an Uber <laughs> driver right here. How are you? Make sure you leave a good review. Hey, oh, buddy. Hey, guys. Okay. Everything all right? You? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. All right, here in San Diego, finally, here with Mission Star Chef, Mike Galantis Soseki. Gotta say that, man. Gotta, every time. Every time, dude. <laughs> and then Hirosan, of course. Gonna meet Fuji-san here. Yes. See their operations, see what they have. We're doing this event tonight for Ali, BD Outdoors. He took you here to catch that huge tuna. So this is the only way to repay him back is make him a dinner he'll never forget, right? He might end up kidnapping the both of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go inside and take a look. Let's go. Hello, hello. Hi, hi. Good, 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 good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so much. This is Fuji San. Hi. Hello, everyone. I'm a branch manager of San Diego Ocean Fresh. Welcome. And uh, we'd like to you know, enjoy for the uh, great moment today. Okay. Welcome. Uh, this is our operation room for San Diego office. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see, this is it's not a you know big operational area, but uh, we are trying to make it happen every day uh, to uh, make sure we prepare the all the fish on time for the delivery. Right now, okay, on the right hand side, uh, you will see our sales rep. We have a four sales rep in here, and then they do uh, arranging a fish to each customer also. We personalize for, you know, uh, upper their, side their customer. Hand, hands on, that's right, that's right. So that way, because other company, most of the other company is, sales rep doesn't involve Separate. for the, you know, fish assortment. But we are different because we want to make sure our sales rep know what we prepare, what kind of fish we deliver. So that way, we have a good communication with the customer when they have some, you know, issue or when they have a good feedback on some fish, then self staff can understand the whole thing. So that way we can improve uh, every day uh, for you know, uh, supporting our customer. All of our sales staff now over one year or so. So that's why they are, uh, uh, you know, no need to have my guidance. But of course, whenever they have some question, they come to me and then I will give some advice and uh, even how to cook the you know, each fish. So, of course, I learned from Hirosan too. But, <laughs> 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 but it's really uh, you know, uh, educational. Yeah. yeah Hirosan YouTube. Yes. You see a uh, bakka salmon? Oh, yeah. So, bakka salmon is very popular here, of course. and. Uh, we always have a running out of bakka salmon. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we have a high demand. So we push the bakka to send us more salmon. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Course, everybody loves it. That's yeah. why. That's a really good thing. Yeah. I see you have, look at this. Yeah. Pallet after pallet of bakka. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have a four kremen, now three kremen working, and one more over there. We do section by section. So this is prep for scaling off okay. and washing all the salmon and then frame and also packing. And then over there, the station is for tuna also. Of 
far. Super nice, beautiful, fresh. Yeah. The uni looks fantastic. Scallops are live. That's exciting yeah. and challenging with sushi. You just have to. You're at the mercy of weather and everything, and you just omakase. You just make whatever works. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So every Tuesday and Friday, uh, we will get the uh, Japan fish wild, also farm item from Japan. But uh, because of the holiday in Japan on Monday, and the uh, typhoon is heading to the south part of Japan. So today, we have a little portion of uh, Japan fish came in. Mainly from Kyushu, south part of Japan. Yeah, also they send some of the fish from Hokkaido. Yeah. So, So they prepare like this. Okay. This is the uh, six saba. This is from Oita, six saba. Nice. You can touch yeah. the farm. Yeah. Nice. All right, and still everything's in here. Yeah. When so, when we get saba at the restaurant, usually they say you have to clean right away. Uh -huh. Saba is one of the only fish at uh, Sasaki. We leave the guts and everything in, so it stays longer. Yeah. Beautiful. So we will be good. Beautiful. Right? That's what you want. Yeah. Good slime. Yeah. Yep. I have my tower combo. Yeah, I have some. Yeah. For tonight, I have some. Okay. Yeah. And then this is the uh, algae. This is from oh, Kumamoto. And also we have a from Oita seki algae. Which one is this? This is the seki algae. All these the seki algae. We sell a lot of algae in San Diego market. So I sell about over 100 pieces each time. Or like grilling or they uh, just sashimi. do all sashimi yes. and nigiri? Nigiri, yeah. yes. So I, I always ask for oita, uh, sekisaba as a primary, and also uh, kumamoto, amak, yeah, amakusa. So normally, this is about 350 gram size. It's pretty big. And this is about 280 gram. So, most of the sushi chef prefer Proper. this one. Yeah. It's easy to yeah. make it. This one. Yes. Yeah. But some customer also like a bigger size. So depending on the customer, we arrange for them. So we really personalize. When we ask for Japan, we ask specifically what size and what how many. That's how we do mm. in San Diego. Okay. So we will arrange it today. And this is a kawahagi from Oita, Hong Kawahagi. So now, this is getting bigger size. It used to be like a 250, 300 size. Now it's a one pound, 400 gram size. A lot of uh, timo inside. Oh, I'm gonna take it out. This is beautiful fish. Yeah. Front fish. Yeah, we had that before, right here. Do you do that? Very simple. Fine, fine uh, scale. Such an interesting fish. It's flat, but it's still kind of round fish, right? Because the eyes are on both sides. So in the United States, we cannot eat the fungu. Blowfish, we can eat. Yeah. We can import. So instead, we use the kawahangi make a thin slice sashimi oh, yeah. and then you know fondue eat like the fondue sauce fondue and then sauce. yeah this is from actually Hokkaido origin uh, kinky uh, rockfish because the uh, certain customer really want today so I ask make sure from ship it to Hokkaido to uh, Kyushu it's similar to like a kinkadai yes yeah yeah it looks like it's it, more right? fatty more fatty yes each fish Box come with the newspaper. So we need the newspaper. We never throw away. You can read it. Here, son, can you want to read a newspaper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 they also use this side. Yeah, yeah. This side also came from Japan. Okay. And then, okay, this one is actually local. Kumamoto oyster. All right. This is from uh, Mexico. Kumamoto oyster. We have a dried uh, thing. So you can have it today. Okay. Hey, if you want to try it. Yeah. And we have a batera kombu. Oh, okay. Yeah, kelp. Oh, yeah. Kelp. And okay. then we put for the fish, oh, yeah. sushi. Kombu, yeah. What is this one? Aosanori. 
This is good for like a detox. You rehydrate. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, it's a dry it up. This is from local Ankimo. Local. Yeah, actually East Coast. East Coast. Yeah. Okay. Anything coming from US, we will call it local. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Not local from Mexico. Did you know, like uh, in Florida, we have mullet run, uh -huh. like uh, where the mullet go through the beach, and they, the guy, the fisherman, tell me all of the mullet uh, roll. Yeah. The uh, what you how you call it in uh, how you call it in Japanese the um, the mullet roll. Uh, but it gets all shipped to Japan from okay. Florida. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and then the the, the eggs. Oh, eggs. Oh, oh the uh, uh, kasumi. Yeah. yeah, and then it all goes to Japan, and then uh, and then they then all the American sushi chefs get it here. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. This is the uh, uni from uh, Hokkaido, Hokkaido origin, and uh, now switching to uh, Murasaki uni. Oh, Murasaki. Yeah, Bahu uni season is over. So Murasaki, now yeah. Murasaki uni. So Murasaki means is purple. Purple, purple yeah. uni, yeah. yeah. So purple uni has uh, this little bit less yellowish color, yes. but uh, each piece is bigger. Yes. Yeah. So now the season, summer season is bafu. Yes. Fall is going to be yeah. Fall winter will be uh, yeah purple, purple uni. Purple uni. Yes. This is the kani miso. Kani miso. Okay. Oh, Very nice. popular thing. So caviar. This is very popular also, Yose Yuba. Oh, Yuba? Yuba, yes. Actually, this is like a pudding. Yes. Like the thin, the thin layer. This is not thin layer. It's actual just, yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe you can try now. So this is Yuba. Yuba. Yuba tofu. Yuba tofu. How do they How do they serve it here in San Diego? Very simple. This is used with like a yuzu kosho. Oh yeah. yeah. And also together with uni. Mm. And also some restaurants use this for ice cream. Ice cream, mm. yeah. Mm. It's like tofu, it's more, more thick, thick. Very creamy. Yeah. This is perfect wow. breakfast. Yeah. Look at Hero's eyes just open up, double size. Yeah. Bring, bring back <laughs> memories. So happy. So as your chef, you would love to see this, right? When you right. open the box. Yeah. And then we don't open up the fish. Right. We get it done. And so it's important even down to how they store the fish. Mm -hmm. One side of the fish is always flat. So when we go to the restaurant, the first side that we use for sushi is this side. Because everyone, leave, everyone in, uh, they know to leave the fish facing one way. So the flat part we use first for sushi. Mm -hmm. Japanese uh, vendors, Everything's geared to make sure the fish is very pristine. Yeah. And still now we're working with new fish, new new American uh, vendors, kind of teaching them don't overlap the fish. Yeah. Everything has to be very delicate, but like so much care. Oh yeah. It's oh, crazy. Ton of care. Their, their customer service rep, their sales reps are packing fish. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah. And then we put the fresh ice. We don't put directly ice over the fish. Yeah, because also ha HACCP reason too, the FDA yeah. regulation. And also, yeah, and also we make sure we close the tight end. So Turn that the water leaks out. Yeah, we out. can cover the fish in there. And see the nice weight. It's very light. So now, every ice bag is the same weight. <laughs> I, guess, I mean, yeah. I'm just going to scale. Yeah. So all these, you think the same way. Yeah. But then, you make sure. A lot of customers ask why we still use so much Japanese fish. It's because of this. The yeah. The quality you can't compare. Handle we make sure, because the Sunday was pretty hot. So we make sure. We got, depend on the fish, two or three. And then, what time does the first person come here? Uh, normally uh, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. Yes. And the uh, last person leave? Last person leave uh, for the driver will be about 10 o'clock. Yeah, we have a local customer also. Then we, for the local, we don't need to you know, rush. Uh, so we have a time to. But we have a you know, customer in Arizona also. Uh, you know, Tucson, Arizona, Yuma. 
So those delivery, we need to go fast. Wow, you drive all the way there. Yeah. How far yeah. drive is it? Uh, driving will be about seven hours. Wow. Seven hours. Yeah, twice a week. Yeah. We have a live Hollywood, uh, also Ikejime from Korea. <laughs> so Ikejime is already from the producer. They cure the uh, nerve and also take out the blood. Mm. But Asajime, we have a live tank. And then in the morning, we cure and then we spike the needle. So that way, depends on the customer. Yeah. Uh, you know, some customer prefer really from the live, and then you know we make sure. What is way. like? Because that's how we help preserve the fish better mm -hmm. for aging. Yeah. What what way is usually better? With the aging, it really depends on the uh, sous chef. Yeah. Some just a six hours. Yeah. Or some is uh, like a. 24 hours. Spiking the head or EKG made better? Okay, I do spiking uh, the nerve from the head. Ah. So I will show you today how I do, but uh, most of it, it's preferred that way. Preferred. Yeah. yeah. It's because instantly, it's <laughs> 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 We have a live tank here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kirame and abalone. On the west coast, we call it halibut. On the east coast, we call it blue, blue, flounder, blue and then down south, we call it flounder. And then Japan is the right? Yeah, Hiramu. So confusing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna spike here. I say thank you, always. Thank you, thank you. Now all the nerve is done. It's done. It's just, just, uh... Okay. So you see this white. This is the nerve. Goes through. This is the nerve. Nerve. Yeah. Nerve goes through and the bone and then blood line goes. Lisa, are you going inside the bone? Yes. Inside no, the bone. In that white side part? Side by side. Inside. Yes. White part. So you want to go inside here. See? Yeah. Fish is violent. And yeah. then going through this. And then all the way down. And pull it up and down, up and down, yes, huh? Yes. Just to get that nerve, it yes. stops. Yes. And then look at instinct. Dumb. Instinct calm. Yeah. And then going back to tank. Sit about five minutes. Okay. Yes. We make sure. Still blood is coming up, right. right? So if if when I do this and it still move, then what I do is bring a knife and then this end cut be the cut. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that way it will be completely. Beautiful paint that gillis. Yes, yeah. but already blood is coming out a lot, so that so means I don't need it. Check the weight. And no ice. No Never fresh. No ice. Okay. No ice. I put customer next. Why? Uh, because uh, later, all the mushroom will get harder. Yeah. You know, after yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then after getting farm, after that, it start losing again. And that, you know, umami comes out. But that's about five to six hours later, uh, that the umami essence coming out from the then some restaurant want to put the kombu and then and then make a, another dinner. One day or two more days. They get more flavor. Kombu jime. Here's on. So we got some friends here that have been watching you for quite some time. The staff here at Ocean Fresh. All right. So tell us, you guys been watching for a while, a little bit of time? Yeah, a little bit of time. Okay, and how'd you find the channel? Off YouTube, just fishing videos. Oh. I did by a salmon search on cutting salmon. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's our most popular video so far. Yes. Yeah, that's quite a few millions. Like, all right. Like yeah. And you guys, your skills are amazing too, all of you, you know? You're watching. And you guys are watching the channel as well? All right. 
YouTube. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we flooded the we flooded YouTube with a lot of the content. So, <laughs> yeah, we're happy to be here. You guys have an awesome products that you're working from Japan and of course back across and the tuna as well. So, yeah, thanks so much. We're gonna use a lot of some of that fish tonight. Oh, yeah. um, good. good quality. That guy over there, that's Mike. He just earned his first Michelin star in Orlando wow. for an omakase place. So he's gonna share the kitchen with Hero tonight. I'm excited to show you what they're gonna make from the fish that you guys have uh, taken care of. Yeah, thank you guys so much again.